Do you make less than $64,000? You might qualify to claim the Earned Income Tax Credit, and it could add thousands of dollars to your tax refund. In fact, millions of taxpayers qualify for this valuable credit annually, and you might be one of them. In this video, we've got you covered. We're diving deep into the world of EITC, breaking down what it is, who qualifies, here's a hint, it may be you, and how it can significantly impact you and your family's financial situation. I'm Mark Stever, Chief Tax Information Officer at Jackson Hewitt. Okay, let's go. What is the Earned Income Tax Credit, otherwise known as the EITC? Well, the EITC was originally created nearly 50 years ago to help offset the tax burdens of the hardest working who are raising families and children. Since then, it has expanded to help all taxpayers, even those without children, with a low to moderate income level. And if you qualify for the maximum amount, it can be worth more than $7,400 this year. And when added to other tax credits you might qualify for, you might get a greater refund or even owe less to the IRS. As I said before, you could be one of the millions of taxpayers who qualify for this valuable credit. The IRS reports that there are about 25 million eligible taxpayers that qualify for up to the $70 billion of earned income tax credits each year. Unfortunately, a lot of families and individuals don't realize that they qualify. And here's a fact, each year, one out of five fail to claim this credit meaning they miss out on the benefits they deserve and get a smaller tax refund than they're eligible for. Is the EITC a refundable credit? That's a good question. Yes, the EITC's what's referred to as a refundable credit. This means the IRS adds the total amount of the EITC you're eligible for to your tax refund, regardless of your tax liability, taxes withheld, or estimated payments. Other tax credits stop at zero and you won't get a bigger refund after your tax liability and your refund equal each other. That means this credit increases your tax refund even if you have no money owed to the IRS. How much is the EITC worth this year? The federal earned income tax credit amount changes every year, and your life might have too. The amount you get is based on income and family size. In fact, if you qualify, you could get 600 if you have no children, about $4,000 if you have one child, about $6,600 if you have two, or just over $7,400 if you have three or more children. This is potentially thousands of dollars you don't want to miss out on. Your tax pro can help make sure you get this benefit. Do you qualify for the Earned Income Tax Credit? One easy way to check is to use an online calculator. We have one on our website at jacksonhewitt.com. You could start there and then get into more detail as you like. In general, there are three things to find out if you qualify for the Earned Income Tax Credit. First, you need a Social Security number for yourself, your spouse if you have one, and any qualifying dependent children. Without this, you cannot qualify for the credit. Second, all filing statuses except married filing separately can claim the credit. Third, you have to have earned income and below a certain threshold. We'll get into that and what counts as earned income now. Do you have to have income to qualify for the EITC? Well, this part is key. As it says in the name of the credit, you must have earned income for the earned income tax credit eligibility, either from a job, self-employment, a side gig, or just about anything where you work and earn income. You have to have some amount of income to claim the credit. It's that your wages and earnings must be below a certain amount, not that you have no income. And good news for side hustlers, delivery drivers, gig workers, independent contractors, and freelancers. Your income that's reported on a 1099-K form counts, and by definition is earned income. And you might be able to claim the earned income tax credit. So what doesn't count as earned income to qualify for the EITC? While it's still income and needs to be reported on your tax return, there are several things that do not count as earned income in the eyes of the IRS to claim the EITC. Interest, for example, dividends on investments, passive income, pensions and annuities, Social Security benefits, unemployment benefits. So while this money is still taxable, it just doesn't count towards the earned income tax credit. Just because you claimed the EITC last year, 
doesn't mean you automatically get it this year. To get it, it must be claimed each year when you file your tax return. Also, not only do you not automatically get it, but the IRS won't flag your return if you're eligible but didn't claim it. The IRS won't just add it. If you leave it off, it stays off. How do you claim the EITC? The process of claiming EITC is like other tax benefits. If you meet the requirements and the right information is filed on Form 1040, the tax credit amount will show up in your tax refund when filing your taxes. And if you have a qualifying child, you must also file Schedule EIC. Either way, when you meet with your tax pro, bring your Social Security number and birth certificate so your names and information are filed accurately. Now before I let you go, let's just do a quick round of rapid-fire answers to some of the most frequently asked questions about the EITC. Can I get the EITC without children? Yes, if you meet the other requirements, you can. When will the IRS release refunds with EITC? Great question. You probably won't see your refund earlier than mid-February. This is because under federal laws, the IRS will check your return more carefully to avoid fraud claims. If I'm divorced or separated with children, who claims the children for the EITC? Well, it's not simply who files first. Typically, only the custodial parent can claim the children for EITC. It's generally whoever the child lives with for more than half the year. But if you have a complex family structure, or if the credit is incorrectly claimed by an ex-spouse, I strongly urge you to meet with a tax expert because they will make sure the right person is able to claim the credit. Are there recent changes to the EITC? While the credit amount increases each year to reflect inflation, there aren't any major changes this year. Having said that, more common than EITC changes are life changes that may allow you to qualify for the EITC. You might have earned less, had a change in custody, moved, filing status change, or more. Stay up to date with other law changes by speaking with your tax pro. To summarize, to claim the EITC, you must meet certain requirements. There are earning requirements and limits, relationship requirements for dependents, the EITC has some of the most complex rules in the tax code, but also some of the biggest benefits. You need to be cautious that you claim this credit correctly, because if you don't follow the rules exactly, the IRS may send a notice or a bill or even hold a refund until you respond. And even worse, if there's a mistake on your earned income tax credit claim, the IRS may even disallow EITC claims on future tax returns. Because the EITC is one of the biggest credits available and could need larger sized refunds, I highly recommend you first check our EITC calculator and then schedule an appointment at jacksonhewitt.com to talk with a local, trained, experienced Jackson Hewitt tax expert who can give you all the information you need to know. The EITC is a great credit, but unfortunately, a lot of people overlook it. We're here to make sure you get all the credits and deductions you deserve. So tune in next time and learn more about how to make the most of your taxes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more valuable information and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things taxes. And remember, visit jacksonhewitt.com to schedule an appointment today.